Hello, welcome back to our comic book spotlight. If you have never seen Raphael number one, stick around and enjoy the video. Pretty nice copy. Okay, has uh, quite a few spine ticks, but that's common with this book. But the corners are pretty nice and sharp. The art inside is really beautiful. I'm telling you. If I wish, I wish I was a little bit older back when these books came out because I think I would have appreciated the first few issues even more. Sure, over the past few years, I have turned into a huge fan of black and white magazine. And now that I have returned to take a look at these books, I appreciate them at another level, okay? Because the art is fantastic. Especially the black and white format and the style, the inking style. It's so sharp. I just really enjoy the panel layout, okay? It's quite well done as far as the layout. The style of the layout of this book and the way it was drawn remind me a lot of Frank Miller. The way he uh, laid out the panels for Daredevil. Okay. Love that the hockey stick to the neck. Yeah. Look at that awesome, awesome panel right there. Yeah. One of my favorite panel of this entire book. Look at that. Love this. Uh, view from up top If you have never seen the inside of this book Hopefully you enjoy it for the first time. Look at that. Yeah, great action right there. I love that. If you have seen the artwork of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja 1, 2, and 3, by the time this book came out, I think you will agree with me that the art improved. Yeah. It's fun. It's a lot of fun, okay? Certainly, if I was a fan of Black and White magazine back in the mid-80s, you betcha I would have bought this magazine and enjoy it. Look at that. That's a great looking panel right there. You see why I said it remind me of Frank Miller? If you're familiar with Frank Miller, Daredevil, this reminds you of the way you draw a lot of those uh, books, especially even like um, in the Wolverine, Wolverine miniseries. Look at that. I love this page. 
look at that top view and the smaller action panel. If I was to own a page of this book, as for original art, I would love this one page right here. Just love it. Yeah. And that is it, folks. But before I go, let me know if you agree with me that this would have been a better front cover, okay? I would have shifted this down a little bit to make room for the logo. But I mean, I don't hate this cover, okay? But to me, this awesome action right here would have been a much better cover. Let me know if you agree. Beautiful, sharp, by cover with a few spine takes. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.